And welcome back, Askey here with another guide for Banjo-Kazooie. Today we're going to be collecting all of the Jiggies in Treasure Trove Cove. I very much love this map. It's one of my favorites. Right off the bat here, we're going to be collecting this Jinjo that's hidden right under the entrance of the level. We touched on this in the Jinjo guide. Of course, you can use eggs to disable Snacker. That was something that I did not know as a kid. I always get a kick out of doing this, probably because I didn't know it for so long. Yeah, you get about 60 seconds of free swimming time whenever you do that. So if you didn't know that, there you go. Having done that now, we'll exit the water and head towards the shipwreck, straight ahead from the entrance of the level. Now, if you're still worried about Snacker at all, rest assured you don't really go into the ocean a whole lot on this map. I think we'll be jumping in there one more time, but I, get, I think technically it's optional. I, I could have gone around if I wanted to, but that, that's the that's way ahead, so we'll talk about that later. Anyway, we'll hop up there, grab the green Jinjo on top of the mast, and then we'll use the flight pad over here. I've already gone ahead and unlocked all of the abilities that you would normally get on Treasure Trove Cove. Um, if you haven't gotten the flight pad, that was actually where you got it. Bottle's little mound there was actually <laughs> way up there in that, that crow's nest thing. Anyway, we'll time our jump there, grab that one jiggy out of that lockup, the big chest guy, and we'll jump back down. And now we're going to head inside Blubber's ship. Blubber's this hippo here. He's real sad because he lost his gold inside his ship. Which is kind of weird to me because, I mean, it's, it's in his ship. <laughs> I feel like as a pirate, that's probably where I would want my gold to be in my ship. But hey, I, I guess I'm not a pirate. What do I know? I'm not a pirate, allegedly. In any case, we're going to hop down here, grab that piece of, or stack of gold. It's a lot of gold. The first room you access there, yeah, by, by pounding the ground there, breaking open that hatch and, and jumping down inside. The other room you actually go in from the side of the ship. You don't have to break anything open here. Now, if you're brand new to the game and maybe you're new to swimming around, just kind of be careful. The, with the camera being locked here, um, controlling Banjo-Kazooie might not be exactly what you think. I say that, of course, because I have drowned in there. I mean, it's been a long time, but yeah, I won't lie, I've, I've died in there. Anyway, though, moving on. Oh, by the way, I forgot to give Blubber the gold. I forgot to actually close that little quest out. Um, later on, I'll, I'll remember <laughs> and go actually get the... I just, I just ran off with the dude's gold, I guess, which is... Maybe that's better. Maybe I did it on purpose. But anyway, we're going to hop over here. We're going to patch... Leaky the bucket, the bucket named Leaky. We're gonna patch him up with two eggs, which apparently will make that pail, make that bucket watertight. It's not weird at all. And we'll run in here and we'll use Banjo Kazooie's keyboard to type in the name of the game, just in case you forgot what you were playing. Banjo Kazooie. Nothing to this, of course. Just running around, punching in the letters. If you don't know how to spell Banj Kazooie, there it is on the wall. That's me. There's there's probably plenty of people who don't know how to spell Banj Kazooie. I mean no offense. I did not mean to insult your intelligence. All right, there we go. We spelled the name of the game Whammo Kablooey, and we're gonna hop up here and grab this Jinjo. You don't have to kill the crab. In fact, I don't really feel like he deserves to die. He was locked up in there for a long time. You know, that could make you kind of crazy. So we'll just flip him over, grab the puzzle piece, and run out of here. And with that, we're going to cross over to the left-hand side. I call this the left-hand side, as you would look at it entering the level at least. And we're going to pick a fight with a giant hermit crab, because I'm a savage, you know. So this guy's pretty easy. All you got to do... He snaps his claws four times, or, or twice with each claw, or each hand. <laughs> and uh, you just jump in there after he clicks his claw for the fourth time, and you just run up there and jump and do the, uh, the jump attack. His timing gets faster as he goes. Uh, the, last, the last hit, the last time you hit him, the timing's actually pretty tight, so... Anyway, these crabs absolutely tag-teaming me here. That's okay, we'll stay focused. Hop up here and grab this jiggy. Definitely think this area is one of the cooler areas in the game. Love all the different colors. Not really sure why the poor crab's shell is full of holes, though. 
or why it has multiple crabs in it. Actually, where did the big crab go, by the way? It, like, went back in there and, like, split into multiple crabs. It's like some sort of crab metamorphosis. I think that joke made sense. I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Going to use the shock spring jump pad. We'll hop up here. Like I said, I already went ahead and unlocked the uh, two different pads that you get on this stage. We actually already kind of went by where Bottles gave you that ability. I meant to point it out, but I forgot. Uh, I believe we will be flying by it, though. I'll try to remember to point it out then. But it's, um, yeah, Bottles is kind of in between, let's see, it would be in between the shipwreck and the sandcastle, both of those areas we've already been to. But he's, uh, yeah, he's up on top of, there's a little ridge there, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, though, moving past that, we'll go ahead and swim down there underneath that, uh, I think they're called shrapnels, right? Those suicidal mines. We'll also grab the orange jiggy. I tried to uh, <laughs> look down there to show where we were going to be jumping. This is a bit of a shortcut here. Normally, you'd have to go all the way down. Well, we'll see as we kind of go through this part backwards. But normally, you'd, obviously, you wouldn't <laughs> you wouldn't drop down there. Normally, you would jump across this, going one way, get the jiggy, and then go back. But you can drop down there from the top. A nice little shortcut. And this part here is the only other spot, I believe, that I'll be jumping into the water. I kind of botched that jump. I wanted to at least jump over a little bit of it. But as you can see here, if you just kind of continue to double jump, you can kind of... I don't know if you can get away from Snacker, but it sort of looks like you can, you know, maintain a certain distance away from him. If not, you know, get away from him outright if you time it correctly. And we'll be going up here on this spiral tower. Not really sure what this building is supposed to be. That's a spiral tower, duh. And we're going to start doing this little mini quest here. You'll find these X's kind of throughout the level. They kind of just circle around. It's not really... It's not the greatest treasure hunt in the world. But yeah, you'll pound the ground where the X is. The X will disappear, and an arrow will appear in its place. And yeah, you guessed it. It's pointing to where the next X is. kind of feel like this could have been more fun. I don't know. These, I feel like these X's could have been hidden all over the place. Like, make it a real treasure hunt, you know? But yeah, we'll just continue to circle around. Eventually, we'll get to a spot where we get a question mark. <laughs> and uh, the final X is actually, like, right next to it. Again, not, not very difficult to find where to go next. There's Shark Food Island off to the right there. That, of course, is tied to the uh, stop and swap feature, which was, like, a canceled thing that was uh, planned for both Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie. Oh, we're, we're flying right over where Bottles gives you that shock spring jump pad, by the way. But yeah, uh, canceled thing. Really, really interesting, really fascinating, really mysterious even. Uh, if you've never, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you should probably give. I'm sure there's some awesome videos on it, or at least wiki articles. But anyway, moving on. Don't want to make this video about that. Uh, so we just hit the final X, which spawned the... Uh, final X, which we didn't get to see on screen yet. I've just kind of taken the opportunity here to grab that purple Jinjo and hop up here to grab this Jin or, uh, not Jinjo, uh, Jiggy. And then we'll hop back down, all the way back down to the ground, and then we'll cross this little tiny piece of water. I guess I lied. I think I said that I wasn't going to touch the water again, but... Oh, I didn't touch it! No, we're good. We're good. I didn't lie yet. Oh, oh okay. I'm just... I'm just being sure I don't touch the water. All of a sudden, it's very, very important to me. I don't want to, you know, spread misinformation. So anyway, that's, that was the super crazy secret hiding place for the final tr Wait. Water. Oh! Yes! Oh, no, I touched it! Oh! I'm just gonna have to remake the entire video now. Anyway, moving on. This is where I actually realize uh, that I hadn't turned in the gold. You can see me... Yeah. <laughs> You pretty much see me make the realization. I was like, oh, wait, I need to turn that in. And I just like hurl myself over. Anyway, gonna give up the gold. I'm trying to figure out how you, get, you return this stuff. I guess you have to stand next to Blubber. And here the hippo's like, thanks for, you know, 14 or 15 or 16 ingots of gold. Here's a little puzzle piece for you. And Banjo Kazooie are like, that's a fair trade. Thank you, sir. All right, we got eight of the ten jiggies now. So we're going to come up here, and we're pretty much just going to fly up to the top of the level. The last two things we'll be collecting will be up here. 
The first is going to be this yellow Jinjo, which is hanging out in this tree. And I get, like, really disoriented here. <laughs> I really want to land on top of the tree and nowhere else. There we go. Just like in the Jinjo guide, that's where we're going to collect the Jinjo puzzle piece. And the last one is actually just going to be here on top of the lighthouse. Now, you can just fly all the way to the top of the lighthouse. In fact, in, in hindsight, I probably just should have flown to the top of the lighthouse, grabbed the Jiggy up there, and then jumped down and grabbed the, uh, the uh, Jinjo. But hey, maybe it's kind of, maybe this is the cooler way to do it, you know, end everything way up on top of the level. In fact, yes, I'm going to tell you that I did that on purpose. And there we go. All ten Jiggies on Treasure Trove Cove. Man, that level was so much more interesting than Mumbo's Mountain. When you compare the two levels, Mumbo's Mountain is positively boring, you know. I mean, I hate to say that I love this game. I love pretty much every level of this game, but yeah. Most of those puzzle pieces were just kind of hanging out. And I understand why. It's, you know, teaching you how to play the game. But uh, yeah, this... This level, of course, has a heck of a lot more stuff going on. Sand castles and giant crabs and spelling stuff and gold bars and sharks and yeah. Man, do I love this level. Anyway, that's going to do it for my Jiggy Guide on Treasure Trove Cove. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you learned something. Next up in the Jiggy Guide is going to be Clanker's Cavern. I do hope you stay tuned for that. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.